Curious Noodles, Inspiring Brilliant Little Minds. Let's jump into the exciting world of math. Today's unit, Digits and Numbers. In today's lesson, we will be answering what are numerals? Numbers are seen and used everywhere. We use it all the time in our daily lives. We see them as digits on clocks, as page numbers in books, as dates on calendars, as prices in stores, and as temperature readings on thermostats. As you can see, numbers are all around us, and they come in all sorts of forms. Let us take a look at a few more examples of where we can find numbers. We use numbers in music. They can tell us how long a note should be played, or help us keep a beat so the music sounds perfect. We use numbers in construction. They can help us measure materials to help us build things properly. We use numbers in science. They help us when measuring and collecting data during experiments. They help us to plot data on graphs to help us find patterns. There are all sorts of ways to represent numbers. But where do they come from? Who came up with these symbols or drawings used to write them? Throughout history, different civilizations have come up with different symbols or drawings to represent numbers called numerals. What are numerals? Numerals are symbols or drawings that help us to know how to represent or write numbers. You can think of numeral systems like languages. We have many languages in the world that we can use to speak. So when writing numbers, we can choose to write them using one of the many numeral systems. Still not sure? Let's compare. In languages, we have words that can represent things, and we can choose from the many language systems to speak that word. Let's take the word dog. If we chose the French language, we would say chien. Or if we chose the Spanish language, we would say perro. And if we chose the English language, we would say dog. In math, when we write numbers, we can represent or draw them by choosing from the many numeral systems. We could choose to represent numbers using the Babylonian numeral system, the Roman numeral system, or one of the many others. Let's take a deeper dive at these different numeral systems and keep an eye out to see if you can spot which numeral system we use today. The Babylonian numeral system was one of the earliest numeral systems and appeared around 2000 BC, a very long, long time ago. It was created and used by the Babylonians. They used symbols like triangles and lines to represent numbers. It is considered one of the oldest numeral systems. The Roman numeral system was created by the Romans around 1000 BC. They use symbols like I, V, X to represent numbers. Roman numerals can still be seen today. One common place where you can still find them are on some watches and clocks. The Hindu Arabic numeral system evolved over time with origins in India and being adopted in the Arabic culture around the 9th century. Does this numeral system and its symbols look familiar to you? Hopefully you said yes. This is a numeral system we use widely today and is generally referred to as the decimal system. The Mayan numeral system appeared around the 14th century and was created and used by the Mayans. They used the dot, bars, and upside down turtle symbols to represent numbers. Those were just some of the numeral systems that have been created over time. Okay everybody, 
take out your math journal so we can summarize what we learned today. Today's math unit is from digits and numbers. Today's lesson, what are numerals? Numerals are a system of symbols or drawing that help us know how to write or represent numbers. There have been many numeral systems that have been created over time. There are many examples of numeral systems. There's the Roman system, there's the Hindu Arabic system, there's the Mayan system. The Hindu numeral Arabic system is used widely today and is generally referred to as the decimal system. All right, everybody, take out your thinking cap it's quiz time! What are numeral systems? Is it A, symbols or drawings used to write numbers? Is it B, systems or drawings used to write words? Is it C, symbols or drawings used for art? Or D, symbols or drawings used for science? If you answered A, symbols or drawings used to write numbers, you are correct. Good job! What numeral system do we use today? Is it A, the Roman numeral system? Is it B, the decimal numeral system? Is it C, the Babylonian numeral system? Or D, the Mayan numeral system? If you answered B, the decimal numeral system, you are correct. Good job! If you enjoyed today's lesson or learned something new, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more great lessons.